Hello there, Ivar here by Ivar's Fly Workshop. Um, today we are going to tie a classic fly which is called Black Ghost. And we are going to tie it in the classic way with a feather wing. So we will just simply start by attaching the thread to the shank of the hook. I'm using the hook size number four for it. That's the uh, probably the maximum I will be size I will be using here in Iceland. For trout fishing with that fly, usually we are going for number six or eight, or even down to ten, but six or eight is the most common, the most common sizes to fish with. Uh, we will start by attaching uh, yellow rooster threads, uh, feathers. I mean, by as a tail of the fly. We will just measure that down and. Uh, get that stuck down to the hook with a thread. Make sure it's stuck there. You can actually use both uh, rooster and you can use duck, geese, just whatever you prefer. Then we have to attach the uh, silver. We use flat silver for the wrap around the body. And when we have attached the silver, we have to attach the uh, the black floss, which the original fly requires, but the body is made out of black floss. I usually make it out of black wool or, or some something. It depends, you know, what I'm using the fly for, which conditions and stuff. So here's the floss ready, and we'll just snip off the end of it like this, and then we'll just Go with, thre go with the thread where about we will attach the floss when we have wrapped that around. And it takes a few, few moments to wrap it around since it's rather thin. Now we've done all that. And we can secure the um, end of the floss down where the head is supposed to be. And you must do like a few tight wraps to make it secure. Then we'll just trim off the end of the floss. It can be used for another fly. And if there are some fibers like this sticking out, we'll just trim them off to make it smoother. Um, now it's the time to form the platform where we will make the head. So it's okay to do this, what I'm doing. Just to wrap one round back and forth on the fly. It's gonna make the make sure the floss is not gonna slip or slide anywhere. Uh, before we attach the wing, now we have to wrap the silver, the flat silver tinsel around the body. We'll do it like this. We we'll keep the gap relatively white. And one last wrap there before we attach it like this. And it's gonna sit there for sure but the, actually to tell you guys the silver tinsel I'm using you see how it bounces it's actually a metal tinsel it's really old I was a man who gave it to me last season and I'm using that now so it cannot be more classic than that uh, next step of the fly is to take this yellow feather here same what we used for the tail to to do the the beard of the fly You'll measure the length of it like this. Keep it with your finger. The length of the the end of the beard should be about where the out of the hook is. Then we'll just trim it like this. Measure it with our fingers down like this and attach it. Then it's gonna be in the exact length which we preferred to have it in. That's the measurement kind of the manual measurement tool I use for for measuring out wings and, and stuff like this. And it's gonna be almost all, all the time it's gonna be the correct measurement or about the correct measurement. Now I'll just make some few wraps around this to make it secure. Tight good wraps. Then it comes to the wing, and I'm using rooster feathers for the wing. Uh, saddle feathers actually 
and I use four feathers, two and two. I touch two uh, on this side and two on the other side of the fly. We have to snip off the end of the feathers like like that. And I use the hackle pliers, as you see, they, they, those may be a little stiff. So I use the hackle pliers like this, get them into it, not too hard, not so hard I break it, but it gives it a little bend and the wing is going to be more likely to stay in place where you want it to stay. Then we'll take the second pair of the feather, make sure the feather goes, uh, the feathers goes against each other, so they're leaning towards each other. Then we'll just attach it like this with a few wraps, not too many of them, just like this. Get the ends off and snip off the ends like this, and then we'll start to form the head of the fly with our thread. We'll do it like this, and there is the head. And the only thing left uh, of a material to this fly is we're going to go, I'm going to, yeah, big spending. We're going to go for a jungle cock cheeks on this fly. And we'll just softly attach one side like this, and then we'll attach the other side. We're done with both feathers, same way. Make them even when you see them from above, make them about even. Then we'll just make sure that they are level. Then we'll give it a few hard like uh, wraps around it. Uh, snip off the end of the end of the feather like this, and start to form the head. The hat is already there and I'm kind of like satisfied with this fly, so the only thing left is just to do the finishing job. Do, do it twice, just in case. And just then cut off the, uh, cut the thread. And cut the thread all, all the way up to the uh, to the corner, then we will just get the varnish and place a nice uh, place like a nice coat of varnish on the head. It's actually not bad to do it twice because the thread is gonna gonna drain some of the varnish inside, and if you do it twice, it's gonna be more durable flight definitely. So there you have it. This is the Black Ghost, the original way with the feather wing. Please uh, subscribe the video and like it. Share it as you like. Thanks for watching and I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Up and running.